Hey guys, um, beautiful fall day here in New England. I don't know where you are, but I hope you're having a good day. I got something really exciting to show you guys. Um, I recently did the unboxing video for my trumpeter, 1200 scale RMS Titanic. And I'm really excited about that. Once I figure out what I'm gonna do about the case situation, then I'll start uh, building it. But I got something else Titanic related. This is really cool. It's a um, RMS Titanic lifeboat wooden kit. And I'm excited to show you this. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, I got something to show you that I'm really excited about. I think this is really, really cool. This is a Titanic lifeboat uh, model kit. It's made out of wood. And I had seen this on eBay. And I, I, I instantly fell in love with it. I tried looking to see if they were more available and just to see if I had a variety to choose from. And there's really not a whole lot of these to choose from. So I decided right then and there that I wanted it and I had to have it. Um, this is a model of the Titanic, one of the Titanic's lifeboats. The company, um, Artesania Latina, I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, and it's a wood depiction of the lifeboat from the RMS Titanic. It shows you the beautiful pictures of what it's gonna look like when it's done. <clears throat> it's about a foot long. And it was released in 2008. And you can see some of the information, artesanialatina.net. And <clears throat> it's got some beautiful pictures on the box. And you can see some of the information. The sinking of the RMS Titanic, a British ship owned by the White Star Line in April of 1912 on her maiden voyage to New York was memorably worse for the shortage of lifeboats. Originally designed to carry 32 lifeboats, RMS Titanic sailed to its fate with only 20, enough for half of the passengers. When launched from the sinking ship into the freezing seas, the lifeboats were not full, worsening the tragedy still further. <clears throat> you can see it's more, some more information on the side. I think this is the same, uh, yeah, it's the same information. And on the other side, you get the reference number, 19016. Wooden kit. <clears throat> this is the Titanic lifeboat. So, without further ado, let's open it up. And it's hard to do with one hand, so let's open it up. All right, so once opened, you can see that there's a plastic tray, and the plastic tray has what appears to be a manual, instruction manual, and it's got some smaller parts. You can see the anchor in there, life preservers. And I'm not sure what those are. They look like buckets. And some wood pieces. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. I'll show you the wood pieces. Right off the bat, what appears to be the base. Got a nice finish to it. Stained up. It looked really nice. Yeah, instead of painting it, I think I'll stain it and bring out the beauty of the wood. So that's the base. What else we got? Um, this is packaged. It's vacuum sealed. So when I'm thinking, these are the, the planks that go along the side of the boat. And you have the, uh, the darker pieces, which would probably be the finished pieces. And I'm not going to open this until I actually build a kit, but I wanted you guys to see how really cool this is. All right, what's next? <clears throat> it's again, it's vacuum sealed. It's some really nice detail. You can see the the logo of the model company, Artesania Latina.
the ribs. And it looks like that could be the rudder. Let's see what's on. There's more instructions on the back. Titanic Lifeboat 19016. I'm going to check the link out to the main site too. And if there's anything extra from the main site, I'm going to put it up for you guys to see. Okay. The, uh, what would that be? The keel of the boat. More ribs. I'm not going to open this until I'm ready to build it. But I wanted you to see. I wonder if anything's missing. It seems like there should be more. Oh, maybe not. In order to make the lifeboat. Got the ribs, the keel, in here, and the planking on the sides. So, <clears throat> let's see. There's nothing else in there. So we get that. Got that part, and we have the base. Let's see if I can open this section. Right, it's got the tape, so let me open up the tape and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. All right, so I got the plastic film off. By the way, this is packaged really nicely. And what appears to be the lifeboat uh, instruction sheet or booklet. Now there's nothing else in there. So let me show you guys what the booklet entails. Got a beautiful depiction of the model on the front. And I'll put up pictures so you guys can actually follow along at what I'm looking at. It shows the technical data. I don't know if this is the same as what was on the box. The RMS Titanic was the second trio of the Olympic class. Transatlantic liners along with the RMS Olympic. There's different... Um, it shows you some background to the ship herself, the Titanic. <clears throat> Let's see. The RMS Titanic was the second of a trio of Olympic class transatlantic liners, along with the RMS Olympic and the R and the HMS Britannic. Launched on the 31st of May 1911, starting service on April 10th, 1912. Designed by Thomas Andrews, they were owned by the White Star Line, built at Harland and Wolfe Shipbuilders in Belfast, which is in Northern Ireland, United Kingdom. The Titanic was the largest and most luxuri luxuri luxurious passenger line of its day. On April 14th, April 1912, it sank, collided with an iceberg, which opened up a breach of over 10 meters on the side. The original design was to have over 64 lifeboats on boat, on board, but this number was reduced initially to 40, then to 32, and finally to 20. At the moment of the sinking, the lifeboats were distributed as follow, follows. 14 wooden boats on a capacity for 65 people each, two wooden cutters with a capacity for 40 people, and four angled tight collapsibles for 47 people each, a total capacity lifeboats were 1,178 people, but unexplainably only 705 people out of the 2,200 on board the Titanic climbed on board. Artesina Latina provides a faithful reproduction of the RMS Titanic's 14 lifeboats with a capacity for 65 people. So, shows you some of the technical data, and I did a video where I actually went into the history of the Titanic. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link down in the description. And I'm not just regurgitating stuff that I pulled off the internet. I did research on it, and I made a, a report or a video from her beginning, the plannings to the end, and how she uh, appears today. So I'll put the link in the bottom for that. And it's got some nice uh, story, nice information at the beginning of this manual. Let's see what's next. It looks like tips on how to model. Putting the superstructures of the boat together. It 
And again, I'll put pictures up because, you know, it's a lot easier for you to follow along if there's a big picture on the screen instead of trying to follow along with the camera. It shows you some more, some more tips and tricks. The drilling, the small parts, the gluing. <clears throat> and what to use, the products suggested by them to use for the wood models. <coughs> How to smooth out the hull. And the hull of the lifeboat is not smooth. You can see the planks. So we won't be sanding this down. But the beginning of the manual shows tips, tricks, as well as products that they suggest to use for the models of their ships. Okay, so moving on to the instruction sheet. Again, you got a very nice depiction of what's on the box. The first page shows you the first steps, and that would be laying the keel, putting the ribs on, and getting the superstructure ready. Step two, getting everything ready, solidifying the keel, let's see, step three, and it looks like getting it ready, sanding it down to make sure it's even. Because remember, this isn't plastic. It's not manufactured like in a cookie cutter for, you know, thousands and thousands of kits. It's, it's wood. So wood is different on how it's shaped, how it ages, um, you know, when it warps, when it changes with age, or if there's moisture, the moisture levels can affect it. Part four. Start to lie the planking onto the frame. This is where it really starts to take shape as a boat. This is going to be really fun. I've, ne I've never actually done a wood model before. I do have the Black Pearl. It's a large wood model that I had gotten a while back. It just kind of got put to the side and forgotten about. <clears throat> but this will be the first wood model that I actually do. Um, Titanic related, so that's what makes it more interesting to me. Part 5, you can see, <clears throat> it's got a rotary tool. And it's sanding out and smoothing the areas. You can install. I don't know if those are going to be for the seats or the floor. To step six. I think that's where that darker wood comes in. It looks really nice. I don't know what kind of wood it is, if it's cedar. Um, it's got that nice kind of cedar or chestnut color. I see the inside of the boat. <clears throat> up to part seven. I think this is going to be a nice addition to put in with the one two hundred scale trumpeter Titanic model. I think this would look really nice on the side of it in the case. Step seven: sides of the boat. You see the bottom going in, and where the seats are going to be. It's really cool. It shows um, a bunch of little details, little pieces like the oars and other things that are in there. Like at step eight, 
As, um, as I go along, if you want, you can pause the video because I'll put pictures up and you'll be able to study the pictures. You see the painting, the hull. And of course, it's going to be white, just like the actual, well, the closest to the actual representation. Um, I'll do some research on the lifeboats themselves, the actual lifeboats. You can see the, the rudder. And is that an oar? No, that's for the rudder. <clears throat> On to step nine. Let's see what we got here. Painting of the top, painting it black for the outside. This is a really high quality model. This, this is really cool. I'm so happy I was able to get this. What kind of ended up happening as we go to step 10 was there was a certain price that it was listed for. Um, I think it was $69. And the starting bid was $59. And they had to buy it now at 69 so I was thinking I was like well you know maybe we'll see if no one else is interested in it as we move to step 11 well what ended up happening as we step 11 what ended up happening was I had noticed the uh, the amount of watches grew and it was like 10 watches so I figured I'm not the only one that's interest, interested in this and then I did some research and I really I realized then that this isn't an easy to find model so, what I ended up doing, as you can see the attachment of the rudder, I made my mind up that I had wanted this, step 12, and I, I was going to get this. So, what I did was I, put, I increased my bid, and I went up to 100. You can see the small details start to take place. You see the formation of the oars, placement of the little detail pieces. And the price actually stayed the same up until, you know, the final seconds. And then all of a sudden the price jumped up, but it kept going. And it went up to 80, 81. And it ended up stopping at that as time expired. So as we go to step 13... I ended up getting this kit for $81, and I don't think that's a bad price to get, considering that I wasn't really able to find this anywhere else. And I went to the actual website of the Artesania Latina manufacturer themselves, and the model is out of stock. They don't have any more. So this page, part 13, shows you how to put the, uh, the detail on the outside. The next part, probably the painting guide. Again, I'll put up photographs because it's a lot easier to see than my shaky hand with a camera. More information, the list of parts. parts and the rest the back is for notes and then the back and you see the um, the website um, I'll put the link in the bottom of the description as well for the, for the website so that's the manual that's the uh, the instruction manual nice um, detailed, well-illustrated copy of the manual. So let's take a look at the little, little details. Right, let me get this out and let's get this out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I got it out of the little compartment and there's nothing else in the bottom. And this was in there pretty securely. 
This is a really well packaged kit because I guess it's got to really go all, all over the world. I'm not sure where this was made. If I find out the location, I'll put it up for you. But you can see there's little photo etch pieces as well. Now I'm not going to open up the case until I'm able to and ready to make the model. And I still want to show you guys the photo etch pieces, little brass rings. That's pretty cool. You can see Liverpool, and that would be, that's going to be painted black. And you can see the little white star flag. And that's what that, you can see the white star flag. And the SS Titanic, that would be on the, let's see the starboard side with the little, the numbers. And on the port side, it says Liverpool. And you see the White Star logo. And what else we got? We got the rigging. That would be the line that'll go around the ship, the boat, excuse me. And it looks like you have rope. What's going to be rope for the for the anchor? <clears throat> And there's little, little hooks. This is going to be where the, the rope along the sides will be attached to. And what else we got? We got the little, little buckets. I guess the rope is um, supposed to become a handle or the thread. We got the life preservers. I'm not sure if those are plastic or if they're metal. But you can see there's two that you can see. Actually, three over there. So that looks pretty wild. And then you got the anchor. On this side, and what else is what is what's with the anchor? Is there another piece in there. There's another piece. I'm not sure what that is. A long piece. So that's what's in the little detail compartments, and it looks like. There is brass pieces in here as well. So, I can't wait to start this model. Like I said, I'm gonna put this with my 200 Titanic. I think this is gonna be a really nice addition to that display. And that concludes another cool little video to show you guys. Um, this is an item related to the RMS Titanic. And this is the model lifeboat from the RMS Titanic from Artesania Latina. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, I'm gonna make this model eventually. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what was in it. I just wanted to share it with you because I just thought this was so awesome to get. So I thank you guys for watching. And until my next video, I'll talk to you very soon.